What's going on, guys? Uh, we have the car here. I miss you, baby. Um, this is fifteen dollars and quarters. <laughs> I'm having problems with the power steering. That's why I have the car today. Uh, I figured out that maybe it's just low on fluid. Maybe. So I got fifteen dollars and quarters. I'm gonna go buy some power steering fluid. I also found out what's wrong with the top. Um, and I'll talk about it a little later. But in order to lift a convertible, you usually have to unbuckle the top. And uh, I got it unbuckled. So normally, um, I don't know why before it wouldn't do this with the controls on the inside, but I figured out how to do it. Um, for some reason, when I put it down manually last time, it reset the controls where I just got it in the right position to where that'll unlock with the, the buttons and controls and stuff like that. So we just let the car down off the jack before I went and got quarters. Um, so I'm going to go take this down to the parts store, pick up some um, power steering fluid, and we're going to get on the road. What's up guys? We are headed home. I just came over and had uh, lunch with Ashley. Um, she is, like she had to go to the hospital today, so she's at home now. So I figured I'd go over and treat her do a little bit of lunch. Um, so I brought her something to eat. And I realized how much I miss this car. Miss it so much. And uh, what these chances that I get to drive it just uh, they make me so happy, even if it is driving it because it's broken. Because dad hit a rock the size of a football. Um, I'm headed back over to the house. I was asked to come into work a little early tonight because I guess it's gonna be screwed like it is every day. So um, uh, I talked to my boss already and she said that's cool. So I'm on the way back to the house now to change and. Uh, yeah, then we're gonna head into work, sadly. Um, I wish I could just hang out all day, you know, but we gotta get the money somehow, and uh, that's how I do it, is go to work. So, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on, probably after I get home, uh, change and get ready to head to work, but uh, yeah, it all, it should be a pretty exciting day, or not exciting, but pretty like chill, um, pretty chill day. All right, we're on 3:44. I gotta be worked by four o'clock. Um, should be all right. Uh, one day I'm gonna time lapse the drive to and from work for you so that you can see like exactly how close it is. Um, it's not like a very long drive. Okay, hold on. Whoop. There's someone in front of me. It's not a very long drive, but um, like I totally just like didn't give a shit that I was coming down the road. That was so, like, inconsiderate. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not a very long drive. It's just, it takes probably, like, ten minutes to get there. Um, not even that. Probably only, like, six. But, uh, and it depends on, like, how traffic is. And then it's that way on the way back, too. But, all right, hold on one second. So it's not bad to drive to and from work. Um, and it doesn't take very much gas, so that's good, too. But, um... I don't know, it depends on like how traffic usually goes. Uh, I can catch this road just right to where there's nobody on it. And then the, like it goes down and it turns into another road. Um, and it, when it turns into uh, Camino al Norte and then Camino al Norte it turns into MLK. And MLK is actually one of the busiest roads in Vegas. And uh, as far as like main cross streets go. And uh, on Craig. That's where my work is. So if you ever feel like stalking me, go ahead and uh, stalk me to work, I guess, if that's what you want. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're just chilling, headed to work, and uh, we'll see how the night goes. Alrighty, we're here at work. See, I made it at 3.53, so it's not that bad. There's Vicky's van. Um, there we are, boys. We're here. What's going on, guys? We just got out of work. It's currently 9:10. I'm doing about 45. Headed down uh, MLK. Uh, <laughs> funny story. The first like night that I had this car, uh, I was driving around and I looked up in my mirror, and the headlights behind me were green. I don't know if you guys can see those, but those lights are green. And uh, I was so confused because I was like, green headlights? This is the ugliest thing I could ever think of. Like, I, I didn't know why they were green. And then, uh, like, I went through the light and everything, and uh, I looked back, and the car behind me had it gone at the light. And I looked at the headlights again in the rearview mirror, obviously, because they're, like, the first thing you see. And they were white again. I was like, what? Where'd the guy go? You know, I, I was thinking that he, like, had drove somewhere else. Anyways, the person behind me finally went, and he come up on my ass. 
and uh, he had green headlights, and I was like, oh yeah, it's got like this uh, feature where it like auto dims the headlights or like changes the color of the headlights uh, in the rear view mirror as well as the side view mirrors so that it's not blinding you in the face, um, especially if someone has their high beams on, it does it automatically, so that's, that's pretty cool, that's BMW for you, and uh, I think we fixed most of our problems as far as uh, the power steering goes. Like I still, it's still a little bit uh, tight, but I think it finally cycled through. Uh, it's loosened up a little bit. I think I could finally drive with one finger again, um, which I could do before. I could turn the car completely, like the wheels all the way one direction, um, with just my pinky finger. And uh, I haven't been able to do that since this problem started. But nothing physically wrong underneath the car. Um, it looks fine underneath and uh, I, I took a look at it um, earlier today here's a cop Ooh, the po po the po po got them po po with uh, what looks to be domestic violence um, anyways uh, we're almost home now so I'm gonna go and uh, when I get to the house I'll go ahead and uh, probably end the vlog uh, I think Brad wanted to talk um, if not, you know, I'll probably just chill, uh, watch some Archer or something. I know last night I watched Iron Man 3, so I'm rambling now. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get to the house. This is what I walk out to every day. Um, the three amigos. I got the 2007 Pontiac G6 rolling on 17-inch MB wheels. Um, I actually really like them. You know, it's not the BMW, but it's, uh, that's my car, so. Dad actually drove it today, of course, you guys already knew that. I had, uh, Miss Sexy here. Um, my sister actually named her Molly, and I guess that's her name. And I don't know why, but we've had, uh, this condensation in this headlight all day. Which, I don't like, I'm not a fan of it. So I walk out and I see this thing first. Then, of course, I look at my car second, because... Who doesn't like that color? Then I glance over here um, to the other um, E46 325Ci. I'm actually going to turn on these lights real quick. Dude, turn on the garage light. Alright, so the story behind these two cars, uh, I don't know if I ever did tell you guys. We have two E46 325Cis. Um, they, it's a, it's a convertible. This top on the, my sister calls it Molly, doesn't work. This one does. Uh, I think I figured out what's wrong with this one. We can go ahead and get it done. But um, it's actually a pretty cool car. And uh, I know this vlog is going to be pretty long, and you can go ahead and skip to the end if you'd like. But uh, it's basic, but at the same time, it's still advanced. Um, the stereo tells me what song's playing whenever I change the station. Um, auto dimming mirror, things like that. It's it is an automatic, which I wish it was manual, but we have our granny gear if we need there. Um, shifter for pussies, and uh, it's a good car. This one's coming up on 150,000 miles, by far less problems than Miss uh, other E46 over there. It's it's not that. It's a bad car. It's just this car was never taken care of well. And uh has like next to no wheel gap. The suspension has been like severely modified. Um the front clip here, this bumper doesn't sit right, so there's quite the gap there. Um but it has the better headlights. It's got the clear headlights as to where these ones are yellow. Um I don't know. These rims are they're made by a company called Bayern. They make like um, rims specifically for BMWs, and so that you don't have to deal with any um, hub issues or bolt-ons or anything like that. So, and then over here we have um, what I believe are X5 or X6 18-inch rims. This is half the reason my mom fell in love with this car is because of these rims um, and the interior. She has the all black interior with the wood trim which I think is actually really sexy with the color of the car it's uh I believe it's called steel gray um really good looking car this one just has the tan and black interior with wood trim which is my favorite I like the tan better but anyways 
three minutes and 31 seconds of talking about cars here. These are my babies. I guess I can talk about my car too, for those of you who care. Um, 2007 Pontiac G6, like I had said, it's got um, cloth seats. They're not leather. Steering wheels, um, not leather. Dashboards, not leather. But it's my car, and uh, if it's a lot more people than the BMW does, that's for sure. Tank still closed like a door. Or door still closed like a tank. That's what I meant. I actually got um, one thing I never had in the BMW, um, and these aren't mine. My brother actually has mine, and I have his. But um, get the lights. Come on. I have two um, 10-inch subs. Uh, actually downgraded from 212s um, kicker comp R's I think these ones are um, I had to run an inline here I have a 2000 watt amplifier and I had to run into these speakers yeah just for those of you who care um, I'll do another vlog where I just talk about the the cars about them instead of just like running through real fast because I've actually um, modded some things on here on both the inside of the car and the outside. Um, the BMW, I just didn't have it long enough to ever do anything to it. I enjoyed it. I just drove her because she's amazing. And uh, I always love reaching in the pocket to grab this. So lock her down for the night. That is a disaster. All right, so underneath my desk. Um, I have this bad habit of putting my feet on the walls, so like you can see where my toes mark. I guess you can't really see it that well. There's a black mark like right here from my shoe and right here from my shoe, even under the light switch, and it's so annoying. But um, I guess it's a habit. But then plugged in right here, this is annoying too because um, everything that plugs in to like run my desk, uh, I have the iMac, um, then my keyboard. But then all of our internet is run through here, like our router um, and our modem is right there. So, this cord here runs to the iMac, it plugs in right here on the bottom. Then this white power brick here runs to the, uh, to the router, um, this black one runs to our modem, and then I have this yellow ethernet cable because um, I run my Mac ethernet, just because it's, it's a bit faster than internet, um, wireless internet sometimes. So. Anyways, that's that. I have those running. And then when we had all of our internet install, or not our internet, our TV, um, he actually gave me this, like, because this was for a TV. It had the mail end coming out, and that's not the one that plugs into, um, well, it is, actually, the one that plugs into the, to the modem. But it's not long enough, you know. It just comes to right here. So he gave me an adapter, and he gave me some cord. Like, the TV guy was super cool. Um, and he actually ran the internet through to here, um, and that's our ancient router, but still seems to push like 20 download and 10 upload at least, so. The desk is actually a disaster right now. Uh, I guess I can go through and give you like a little, a little tour. I have the Native American flute. You guys have never seen this. I made this, actually. Um, some towels there, um, from when I brush my teeth and then I just come in and dry my mouth off. Um my collection of pocket knives, that's like a third of them. Zippo fluid, um, cologne and BMW parts, and the cleaner for my Mac. It's the old cloth. This here, my friend got me from Hawaii when he went, um, Tristan Wilkinson. Here we have a thing of tissue and rubbing alcohol for when I clean my ears every morning. I usually do it while I'm catching up on computer stuffs. Here we have um, diode dynamics. They're like little LED lights um, for license plates and stuff like that. A sticker and a business card for them. Then I have my magical black box of um, all things ear. Because, uh, like, I guess it's a me thing. I like to, I like to gauge my ears. Um, uh, this is for when I clean off my dirty phone case from working on the car. Still pretty dirty, but um, alcohol. A can. There's all my jewelry that I wear. Yeah, I guess that's it. So, um, it's currently 11:05. I need to edit this vlog and get it uploaded so that I can get some sleep. I've been up since six o'clock. Um, Ashley called me this morning and woke me up. So.
Yeah, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I hope you had a good day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.